Hello, this is Kevin Lausch with the Unitarian Universalists of Transylvania County, and I'm here again for the Chalice Children's Book Reading. And today, our book reading is about the winter solstice. And the book we're reading is The Shortest Day by Susan Cooper, illustrated by Carson Ellis. And the solstice is when, for the winter solstice, it's when the day is the shortest and the night is the longest. And there's a long tradition of celebrating the solstice, that short winter day, by lighting fires, by lighting lights, lighting candles, and that continues through our season of Christmas. And so let's begin by reading The Shortest Day. The Shortest Day. And through this book, we will celebrate the solstice and will slowly take a journey through time as people developed and changed and they experienced the solstice over thousands of years. So, the shortest day came. And everywhere down the centuries of the snow white world came people singing, dancing to drive the dark away. They lighted candles in the winter trees. They hung their homes with evergreen. And in this season of Christmas and of Yule, of Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, do any of you hang lights in your house? sort of like the people way back when hung candles and trees? And do any of you put green things around your house? Either a wreath outside or hanging um, wreaths or greenery or even a Christmas tree inside? Very much the same of what people used to do to make their houses look lovely and warm and bright in winter. And they burned beseeching fires all night long to keep the year alive. And this page looks interesting. I'm imagining that those might be bad thoughts or things that may scared them that they are lighting the fires to drive away and to bring light in the dark night. And when the New Year's sunshine blazed awake, they shouted, reveling. Through all the frosty ages, you can hear them echoing behind us, listen. All the long echoes sing the same delight, the shortest day, as promise awakens in the sleeping land. Do you notice anything about the people now being shown versus what was earlier in the book? They look a bit more modern, don't they? Kind of like us. They carol, feast, give thanks, and dearly love their friends and hope for peace. And 
And so do we, here and now, this year and every year, welcome Yule. I like that. And so do we, here and now, this year and every year, welcome Yule. And welcoming Yule means welcoming the Yule tide or the winter season, welcoming the season of solstice and the celebration of the return of the sun. And this whole book was written first as a poem called The Shortest Day, and then later added in pictures and words to welcome the return of the sun. So I hope everyone here has a beautiful and joyous solstice. And that's our reading for today. Please stay tuned and Reverend Bob will be here with the service at 10 o'clock. Have a good day.